are you? I'm great. How are you? Good. Your first Comic Con. First Comic Con for Team Wolf. Yeah, that's incredible. It's gonna be my first panel too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You'll have fun. Yeah, I will. <laughs> So obviously, I think the big question right now is, you know, coming out of season five, how is your character dealing with having been the beast, and is that going to be addressed, or...? Well, I, yeah, I can answer both questions. So, uh, Mason has definitely been obsessed with the supernatural world, and it became a reality to him uh, once he found that his best friend was a werewolf, and then becoming a beast, it was... Uh, borderline traumatic experience and the, the fascination with it is still there but it's he sees the dangers in it and he sees that it's this is real and this is a very scary life as much as it is cool there is dangers to it and um, that kind of is like an underlying tone of how he's going to attack the next problem in season six because it's 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 not just fun and games this is like people's lives are on the line so you know it doesn't necessarily get addressed because there's so much it, we actually are thrown right into another extremely crazy how are we going to get out of it type situation right so and following up with that i guess you know him being human and surrounded by all these supernatural creatures you said it's always like an underlying thing yeah is that something he's constantly worried about i i don't think so as much anymore because he's, he's, he's proven himself and, and, and Scott has trusted him with certain things, with you know, being a part of the plan and you know, he was plan B for, for an episode and he actually succeeded and so that he's kind of riding that momentum and um, that's, he's continuously kind of like styles to point out basically using his intellect to, to help the pack in certain ways and he's using his obsession with the supernaturals to propel the pack. So if he finds out, you know, about these ghost writers, he's gonna learn everything he has to know about them and you know, assist in that way. Um, so I was talking to Jeff a little bit about his like willingness to include LGBT characters, and um, you know, you're playing an LGBT character, which is already pretty monumental, but yeah. also it's one of color. It's yeah. Like, you know, another thing. Too. Yeah. Like, what's that experience been like for you? It's it's been great, man. Like, there's it's just so awesome how much support I get all all across the board, and um, I, I'm just definitely honored to, to play this because this is a very different character, and and it's been such a joy to see him grow, and people really love him. Man. Yeah. And I love that because this is such a successful show. And, it's kind of like, you know how Double Dutch is, like, if someone's already jumping in and I have to, and I actually made it, and, and people are like, who is that guy? They, they're actually excited to see Mason, so yeah. it's, it's just been an honor, it's a surreal moment, and I'm just very proud to play this guy, it's, it's just great. Do you get, like, a lot of fans coming up to you and talking to you about it and telling you, like, what it means to them, or, like, how they respond it's, it's to mostly it? on social media, Yeah, you know, but um, that's, that's enough for me, because I know people, that's their way to kind of connect to people they look up to, and so just seeing some of the tweets you know how I've made a positive impact on people but just by doing what I love it's, it's a great experience yeah. and I'm honored to, to do it Thank you. Uh, what kind of things are Mason and Liam going to get up to this season? survive <laughs> that's that's pretty much what we're doing that's our that's our main goal and just to keep everyone intact and uh, they definitely they're like brothers now I mean after you go through something that's, that's so uh, Intense, if you will. Uh, if you have to go through something like that, you, you can only get closer. And um, we're just using our relationship because we're a part of a pack now. We're not just best friends. We're part of a pack. So this is uh, this is a new chapter in their lives, and we're just gonna try to make it through. It, you know? Where would you like to see your character finish? Um, I really like where he's heading, and to be a solidified member of the pack. And I think he, he already is in that sense, but just to continue that process because I feel like he's found a purpose now. You know, I, I have, he's, he has a 4.6 GPA, so school isn't really his, his I mean, it's, it's his thing that he likes to do, but it's not his passion. His passion is really using that intellect to doing something that's just so really astronomically cool. So just being more involved in, in the pack and, and, and being, a, I guess, a beta to Liam if Liam ever becomes that alpha. So, you know, it'd just be cool to just be a part of that. Thing. Thank you. Thank you. Me, Mason? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I think he, I think he has some, some cool traits. Like he's brave. He does things that I personally wouldn't do. Like he attacked a berserker. Uh, I mean, he <laughs> did so many things. Like he was trapped by the dread doctors and said, "Go, leave me." I would not say that. That's the last thing I would say. <laughs> in that moment. But uh, yeah, he, he might have some alpha qualities. Who knows?
how is so Liam? I mean, are we so you and Liam are very good friends. How would you say that they're alike to Scott and Scott? Like, yeah. Let's compare them. I actually like that. Because they're Scott not was, jokey. Like, not really. Yeah. Not really. Not serious. I feel like Mason does have a little bit of that sarcasm, sarcastic type thing, and that's it's fun because it, it actually gets shown more in season six, even in the midst of all the craziness that's going on. So I think uh, that's kind of how Mason relates to to uh, Styles. But as far as the the leader thing, uh, Liam becomes uh, a, a, learning how to become a leader with by Scott. So it's kind of like I'm supportive of him becoming his leader. And I know he's the leader, and I, I'm supporting him, and it's just, we kind of have our little joking moments, which yeah. is cool, because I really like that about uh, Styles and Scott, so, uh, you know, we'll see. Um, what can you tease about how Mason specifically is going to interact with the Ghost Riders? Mm, yeah, well, he definitely gets up close and personal with them. A little too close for his for his life, yeah, I'd say. But um, you know, because he's a part of it. he's a part of it now. He's not he's not an outsider looking in. He's, he's in it. So I think that's going to be really cool that he's you know he's a part of it. So I pretty much answered that, I guess. <laughs> All good. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna roam around then. All right. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Thank you.